welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a little bit different. Different. <laughs> One. It's gonna be kind of chatty, but also kind of active. An, an active chatty video. I got my text from Home Depot that my orders were ready because a long time ago I painted the top part of this desk. But as you can see, only the top part. I also took out all the knobs, which makes it like impossible to get to anything very easily because I'm an idiot. So basically I just wanted to renovate this a little bit and I'm gonna be moving it to the new place so I figured before I moved it I could do the work on it now. And since this is gonna be a kind of off and on day long activity I wanted to talk about some things that have been like circulating in my head. Like author tube versus creator tube. This conversation was started by Marissa Mohi. I really liked her video about that so I just have some like follow-up thoughts. <sighs> author websites and changing my mind also changing my mind potentially about what to do with Project Purple. I made a video I think about two months ago that was basically talking about not feeling comfortable trying to even query that book because my lead Jenny was half white half Korean and it's a YA contemporary told from her point of view all of these things but I also didn't want to change the character even though I loved the story and <sighs> There's some stuff I've thought about since then and it's just kind of one of those I wanted to talk it out kind of thing. So, ooh, look at that. Nah! <laughs> but then that being a YA contemporary also got me thinking about all of these other YA contemporaries I have in various stages and I just kind of wanted to draw that out honestly. So lots of things, it's gonna be really casual. Duke wants to come inside. <laughs> Yes, sir. Good job, bud. But first we need to go pick up the supplies from Home Depot. Oh, I should probably put on real shorts and not pajama shorts so that I can go and get a sander as well. I chose the they'll bring it out to my car option, so less contact, but I'm realizing I'm probably gonna have to go into at least like Walmart or something. No. <laughs> So for a long time, people haven't liked the term author tube. I remember, I always say this because Cam's video is one of the first ones that I watched, but you know, Cam talked about the distinction between write tube, writer tube, and author tube, and how it just turned out that writer tube didn't catch on. But like, you know, I think I even said in my doobie tag, you can be a writer and not be an author and still be part of author tube or whatever. And it's just, for a while it's also felt weird for me, not that I think there needs to be a distinction within the YouTube community between those who are writers and those who are authors, but it has always felt a little bit weird also because people who are new to the community also come in with like, well, where are your books? I'm gonna interrupt myself here real quick because I've also really liked the way that Rachel Wrights has talked about how focused AuthorTube is on publishing and how the population of people who just want to write for right now with no goals of publishing needs to be more represented. And I really like that point too. So yeah. Marissa makes a whole point about how she used to be a ghostwriter and, as, and I've done some ghostwriting too. So there's, you know, your name's not the one that's on the book. Uh, so are you the author, but you wrote the book, but you're, you know, there's a whole debate there about ownership. Um, not legally, but you know. <laughs> and then it often feels like AuthorTube kind of acts as a pigeonhole. Again, people have been talking about this a lot. With wanting to make second channels, third channels, things that are more encompassing of what they're into. And I guess Marissa's question and what she's attempting to do is encompass all of her things and all of her things aren't AuthorTube. And also again, just the people who are policing who can post as part of AuthorTube or like, can you even call yourself an AuthorTuber if you're not an author and like all this stuff. So for me personally, we, I should get on the road. <laughs> For me personally, having one unifying, you know, title, AuthorTube, was amazing for a long time. I think it's still amazing for a lot of people, but for me personally at this point, I don't need AuthorTube in order for myself to grow. So then it poses the question of, do I need to personally continue tagging all of my videos as AuthorTube? Or could I tag it as CreatorTube? Or do I even need to tag it as that at all? Can I just tag it with what it is? Is. I do also lead the AuthorTube chat with Jessica Williamson, but we are now doing book club stuff every other month with it. And you know, Jessica has always been like on the not outskirts of AuthorTube, but she makes a lot more reading content. But then she organizes all these in quotes AuthorTube, you know, write-a-thons and stuff. How do you have a community? Do you need a community? Is that the question? <laughs> 
I have my packages. It's how much effort do you want to put into like, here's the book, following up with people, did you review the book? We had to momentarily stop because this dog came up. I can't find any information on his collar. He's very cute. <laughs> yes, he is. And Duke is shockingly doing okay with him. Well, now I have two dogs, I guess. <laughs> Technically, Duke's not even mine. I'm still waiting to hear back from my parents' HOA people to see if I can figure out, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, to see if they can send some information out because I found the dog in the neighborhood. Like, it literally just ran up to my car and I was like, eh. so. Good job, puppy. Let me get your water ball. This. This has to be someone's. Didn't even get on my stuff. Are you almost ready to go? You just gonna pee on everything. Okay. No, good job. The clinic. All right. I'm excited about that. Puppy, I'm home. It's all the way back there. All right, I got an email back from the HOA lady and she sent out an email and blasted it everywhere. So if that puppy has a home, you will find it. Yeah, you're back to being an only child. You're so excited. <laughs> Good job, Duke. No, yes, sir. That's what the other little puppy has more room at the boyfriend's place, so. He's gonna stay there for the night. Yes, sir. Well, now that this video has turned into a whole other thing, a freaking puppy rescue. If I don't get an update by the time that the desk is done, I'll let y'all know uh, how it turns out. And to think this is the second day of Milwardy as I'm filming this, jeez. I did listen to Cache's video about Creator Tube, and I, I loved that video. My thoughts are kind of ever evolving on this topic, so I don't know that I necessarily made them, you know, as clear earlier or like honestly they might change a little bit who knows so anyways i really just want to hear what y'all think i will link both marissa's video and cache's video in the description down below so y'all please check those out the conversation in marissa's video was incredible not just her conversation which was absolutely but also the comments and really what spawned creator tube or giving new life to creator tube so anyways i don't know i don't know what I do know is I want to open these and just check to see if what I ordered is what it what it's supposed to be. This one should just be paint. Where did I even put my sander? Ugh, I don't even know. I found the puppy and then everything's a blur. I got them in this chromey color because I think it'll look good with the color that I'm painting the desk. So I needed two of these basic chromey ones and then it's a little seahorse this little like conch shell both chrome and i think they'll be really cute kind of like right here and then the you know seahorse right here or something so anyways make it what you love it's been a day let me tell you <laughs> I did take all of the stuff out before I lifted it. <laughs> Duke doesn't even know he's gonna get to come with me. Yeah, so you can see all my stuff's laid out. We have little sliders on the desk, so. Hooray. Hey, buddy. You wanna come with me? Oh my gosh, what a trot. Now, I actually sanded this down last time, but I did just read that it's good to sand between coats, so I'm gonna actually sand the top of this as well. That should be good. I even sanded the sides, but I'll do a little bit more. Just a little bit of the color came off, so that's actually pretty nice. So once upon a time with all their websites, I was thinking I would do just one was the ultimate end goal where I could have a four reader section. It would be all the author names I use. And if you were a reader, you could find everything I'd have for writer sources and whatever. 
writer, not writer, <laughs> for myself. But the more I think about it, and this is one of those things where I can usually tell in my gut when I'm not sure about a decision, and I'm someone that once I come to a clear decision, it's usually like it's the right one. But if I have a little bit of eh, it's my mind's just not made up until that eh goes away. And so I kept thinking about how I'm gonna have these separate pen names, about how the genres are very different. Some of them have much more adult content. There's sex in them, so you need to make a distinction there. And I just, I'm realizing that I'm gonna have to have separate author websites. This actually helps me in a lot of ways, realizing this and feeling good about that decision, is that I don't have to make them too complicated or anything. In fact, it'll be a lot easier to have separate ones than I can have separate newsletters too. And it's extra work, but sometimes you gotta do the extra work and that's okay. So anyways, roundabout way to say a lot of people already knew that this was the right thing to do and it just took me a while to realize that that's what I should do. <laughs> but you know, you gotta realize it for yourself. Did you realize it before me, buddy? I think you did. Yeah, you did. I'm going to need something to hold this down. That should work. If I had some candles in it, it would look like I was about to perform some witchcraft. All right, this is how we're gonna do it. It's pretty windy and I didn't want Duke to actually breathe in any of this stuff. Moved him to the back and we are going to paint this freaking disc. I mean, you know, we still need to do another coat, but like, is she gonna win any beauty competitions? No, but she has character. And frankly, I think that counts for a lot. <laughs> Ta-da, sort of. Yikes. Oh, she's cute. I'm just gonna wash these off and then I'm gonna close the garage because there is some debris and stuff that's getting in. But, do I have paint on my foot? Oh, I do, I have paint on my foot. <laughs> well, wash that too. Don't paint the house, don't paint the house. Mostly clean, leave these out to dry now. All right, I also managed to finish the puzzle, get some writing done. I'm gonna go sit outside with Duke. We're gonna take the notebook. Yeah, I'm gonna be out with you, bud. We'll go pink. So here is basically the list of the books that I currently am considering one day hoping to be traditionally published. Mostly this YA contemporary and then the bonus of a YA fantasy and Project Death which I didn't record for the rest of it, but I was just thinking. You can see that Project Purple is the farthest one along, draft four, I've gotten beta feedback on that. And then you can see the different age ranges of where the characters are at. Readers tend to read up a little bit, but anyways, and you can see the different formats. So like Project Purple, the main character is writing the book that the audience is reading. We have three diary entries and one log, and I'm calling this contemporary, but one of these is a sci-fi and one's about zombies. So it's like, <laughs> it's contemporary and then it's mostly in our world. And because of the format, arguably not contemporary, but I'm just, they lump in together here in my mind. But that's actually what I want is to do it in this kind of format and then I can expand into different genres as well. I just think it would be really cool. And again, how can I play in anything with traditional publishing? But I love the stories, they're fun, so I'm gonna keep doing them. Most of those are in the brainstorming or the zero draft process. They're not really ones I'm focusing on. A lot of them I did during write anything days and I've kind of developed them here and there. Like I had an idea for the perfectionist one after I had written it, like just the percolation. I think I had the idea like a month or five weeks after I did that write anything day, but it's hot as hell. We're gonna go inside. Duke is all the way back there, but I think he'll be okay outside by himself for a little bit. By the way, unfortunately no update on the little puppy's home yet. The HOA lady did get back to me and she sent me a picture of some of the Facebook posts or responses as I do not have Facebook. So anyways, I'm just hoping, hoping. I can't imagine, you know, losing this little pepperoni and not knowing where he went. So I'm hoping we find the little guy's home. And now for the second painting. All right, small brush and big brush. We're gonna do the small spots first this time. Thank you. 
And the second coat is done. I think I might have gotten a sunburn sitting out here. You can see the only parts I didn't do the inside portions, although I did get some accidental paint some places. It's fine. Look at the mess I made. Ooh, it's art. <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh. Duke and I are chilling. It's storming outside. Just a brief pause <laughs> to say that we found the owners. The mom has a son, her son's girlfriend. Yeah, it's her dog. <laughs> And she found my post on next door. So the boyfriend's gonna swing by, pick me up, and then we're gonna go drop the dog off at the mom's house. But yes, <laughs> yay, yay Duke, we found the home. He's like, cannot be bothered. <laughs> also, did I already start on the wide? Yes, I did. Yay, I'm just so happy. We found the owners, yay. I'll be singing. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> no, I'm tiny pupper. Look at her. She's so pretty. You can see like where I had, where I got a little bit too much paint, but like she actually, you know, she looks good. I'm so excited. Hooray. The only thing left to do is put the screws in or the knobs or the handholds or whatever. And where is the screwdriver? Here he is. We will try with you first. So I talked about with Project Purple how I didn't feel like I could change the character. And I think that's the point that I'm kind of evolving my mindset on potentially because though I've always imagined the character as biracial, the only plot point surrounding the looks of my character were that she needs to be confused for another person. Ta-da! I might have to paint that again. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize because I'd had them pulled out this whole time. Now, I was like, how did I miss that? When I was writing this book, I just imagined Jenny as biracial. It was never my intention to write about the experience of being biracial, though there's a lot of great conversation surrounding how could we possibly know. I'm not saying with research, no white author can ever write a character that's a different race or ethnicity than them. I'm saying that currently writing from my character's point of view in this current world, I don't feel as comfortable with it. So when I talked about this initially, I was like, well, I'll wait and I'll just see because I can't imagine changing the character. But but the story I was trying to tell was never again about being biracial. So if I can't potentially do that justice anyways, then maybe I shouldn't be doing it, right? That's the question. And then if that's not the point of the book, then like, why does it matter? I don't know. I, I could potentially change the character. You know, currently Jenny is still the same to me as ever, but you change so many things about a book. You delete characters, you change characters after beats all the time. I could change this and it really wouldn't affect the story that I've currently written. So then what does that say? I guess that's what I'm wondering. <sighs> Should I do the other ones? All right, more or less done now. I did paint the insides of here cause you could see it when this was pressed up. And then I painted that bottom part a little bit more, but it looks good. There is this thing's missing, but honestly, it's cute, it's fun. I don't mind. And it pulls out really well. Yay! I have a new desk. Do, 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 do. Anyways, please do comment down below. Let me know what you think about any or all of these topics that I've discussed in this video. Uh, let me know if you've rescued a puppy before. <laughs> let me know if you actually picked up your dog from a shelter. Also, just let me know what you've named your pets. I would be really curious because we were trying not to name um, the little pupper. And uh, and yet we are still like, hmm. <laughs> I'll say once again, I have now seen even more videos about Creator Tube and the Creator Tube tag that Cache and VM created. So I'm gonna link all of those down below. I really think everyone should watch them. Again, my thoughts are kind of constantly evolving about all of it, but I, just, you know, all I gotta say is heck yes. So anyways, I'd love to hear what you think. But that is gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you especially to some of my new patrons this month. Lisa Lore, Taylor E. Eljuator, Ari, Dylan Cooper, Jacqueline Eulenfeld, Christy Ruthalin, Emily McCosh, Amber Foster, Lindley Anderson, and This Is Me Online. And I will see y'all all very soon with a new video. Bye. Uh, the lady, the mom, what? Okay, it's.